preview. So today we're going to solder this board. It's uh, basically a growth module. It has a, a push button, an LED, and this convenient growth connector, which we use a lot with ITD. This goes well together with our demo board. This is a Schizo Mega. Um, if everything works right, we can attach it to this port, apply some power. And now when we press this button, the LED lights up like this. Uh, in this project, we're combining a few techniques. We're going to uh, solder through whole components. We're going to lay out the board itself. And also we're gonna connect cables to the board through um, these header terminals, which we have here. Yeah. So for this job, we uh, need a few tools. You definitely need some flush cutters, of course a soldering station, some basic solder with a flux core, some desoldering braids, shrinking tube, and a few sort of components, like a perforation board, a 470 ohm resistor, an LED, and a four terminal header connector. And of course, a growth cable. Before we start any solder job, we need to take care of a few things. We take this sponge, uh, make it wet and squeeze it entirely. So this one is already dry, just a little damp. Uh, before, ev um, before any soldering job, we need to make sure that our tip is clean. We clean it on the sponge, add some fresh solder to it, and inspect that everything is nice and shiny. The fumes that come off uh, are best not to breathe in. Uh, if you have one of the soldering stations with a variable temperature control, make sure it's set to 280 degrees or 300 degrees, but not over that. I prefer using a chisel tip like this. It looks like a flathead screwdriver. This works best for your uh, basic true hole components as well as for SMD components. This uh, one tip will do all the work. So here we have the basic circuit we're building today. This represents the connector, which is this cable right here. It goes from black, red, white and yellow. We have a resistor, an LED, and a switch. These are the symbols you can see under here. And this is what they look like somewhat in real life. The LED um, has a, a polarity. It has a plus and a minus side. You can detect that by looking inside of the LED. If you look carefully inside, you see a structure that looks like this. The opening points to the positive side of the LED. And sometimes the positive side has a longer uh, lead. The resistor is bipolar, it doesn't matter which way you solder it. And the switch is a bit more interesting. Although you use only two connections in the circuit right here, it most of the time has four legs on it. It is wired internally like this. So you have one short over here, one short over here. And both shorts are connected by a mechanical switch. You could always use a multimeter, one of these to check out the connections, but you're most definitely safe if you only connect wires to the opposite sides of it.